Well, we're going to see that wind pick up once again today, but our temperatures are going to be slightly cooler 70s and 80s across the area. But we're also going to factor in a few thunderstorms as we get into the afternoon. 74 are high in the springs, 82 for Pueblo Canyon City at 77, 66 degrees today for Woodland Park. And I still think we could see those wind gusts over 30 to maybe even 40 or so miles per hour under some of those stronger thunderstorms. Definitely higher than that. As far as our hour by hour wind gust forecast goes, like we talked about, we're pretty quiet for now as we get into uh, just after that lunch hour. This is by about 12, 1 o'clock. You can see along the I-25 corridor, obviously up in the mountains, some of that wind starts to pick up. We'll continue to see that staying pretty windy. This is what I was talking about. Maybe some 50, even 60 or so mile per hour wind gusts as we see those storms start to move through the area. So after about 1 o'clock is when we'll probably start to see those kicking up. This green highlighted area is where we'll probably see some of those storms getting a little bit stronger, but out east is where our biggest threat's going to be here. So some lightning maybe even some large hail, especially out east up to about an inch and a half in diameter going to be the possibility there. Wind gust over 65 miles per hour under some of those storms and some brief heavy rain not going to be out of the question. Hour by hour here. This is what we're looking at. Like I said, by about one o'clock, those storms start to creep over that I-25 corridor. Um, not everybody's seeing these. They are still going to be pretty scattered, but as you can see, they're going to be just a little bit all over the place. No real rhyme or reason, but obviously getting a little bit stronger as they get out east. I think by about seven or eight o'clock here for us along the I-25 corridor. Most of those do start to get out of the way, but you can see even into tonight out across the plains, those could stay pretty strong. Wind, I think, is going to be our biggest impact as we go throughout the day with these storms. So that'll be something to keep in mind, but we are going to see those temperatures over the next few days cooling off. A front moving through tomorrow, we are going to stay a little bit breezy into the afternoon. Our shower chances into Tuesday and Wednesday are actually looking a little lower, but possibly Wednesday afternoon around Colorado Springs. You see those temperatures much cooler at that point. Most of us getting into the 60s, a couple spots into the 70s, but Woodland Park, you're only going to see 50s as highs by midweek towards the end of the week. Temperatures warm up a touch. We see a lot of sunshine and we'll start to dry out a bit. We're going to take a look at your sports now with Corey.